But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. The White Hills know that harming Ryan, killing Ryan, would mean war. There is no turning back from that. We must secure Ironrath. So we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel. But please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all 
wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the Queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira, please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. I know the Crown doesn't hold my family in high regard. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Don't think I've forgotten your side of the arrangement. As handmaiden to the new Queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Garrett! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass. Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Sure this one last. to the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. We practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig bomber. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Talk all you like. You'll be dead before you take the black. Careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. I said move! I'll be seeing you, farm boy. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. 
I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. You just don't get it, Sarah. I've been fighting for my family's lives here, and what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I see. Well, I hope it was worth it, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. It can't be that bad. She knows it wasn't my fault. Tyrion approached us. It's funny how things change, isn't it? It must be hard for you not to be the favorite anymore. Sarah. Look, it wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie, and you were there for me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. You just need to ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. And I can't let you. I need you here. You're making a lot of drama out of nothing, Sarah. This will pass. Marjorie and I will be friends again. I'm not going anywhere. We will see, won't we? Look, the pie! Oh no, they're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished with her. Are you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest diamond. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lud Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in